everyone. I'd like to first apologize. There are certain parts of the video where these really weird light and dark lines kind of scroll down and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the frequency of the camera picking up the light, but I'm not really a videographer or physicist or anyone who knows why that happens. So I hope you can bear with it in certain parts of the video. Now a little bit about these pieces. This was a two-part commission for two very special fellows. Hello Nathan and Jaden if you're watching. Now they are in a school play as Scar and adult Simba. And I just have to ask, what kind of school do you go to? That's so cool. <laughs> in my school, I had to be a groundhog. A groundhog. But Break a leg in your upcoming play. I'm sure you will both do great. And I really hope you enjoy these paintings. I had so much fun working on them. Growing up, I was quite the ham. I'm not sure how I made it out of childhood without my sister feeding me to the wildebeests because I was super annoying. Looking back on family videos, it would be a really lovely, serene and calm moment everyone opening up presents or at a picnic or some type of family function and then boom I would spontaneously jump in front of the camera do something really dumb and then hop out <laughs> you can also hear me in the background squealing about something either out of delight or fear or panic <laughs> and it was usually over something pretty trivial Almost every year, my family will sit by the Christmas tree with eggnog and we will re-watch incredibly embarrassing home videos of my sister, our cousins, and me doing various things, whether that be singing, dancing, performing. My goodness, we thought we were so cool, when in reality, it was just kids hopping around to Criss Cross's Jump Jump. We deserve to be on Broadway, though, in our minds. Where is my agent? All I can say is, thank God we didn't have the internet or Facebook back then for all of our performances to be uploaded. <laughs> those videos still plague us all to this day. And the day Abner saw those and didn't run away was the day I knew we were meant to be. <laughs> Jokes aside, I had a very wonderful childhood. We were held to a high standard in school and expected to work hard for our allowance. I usually had glowing remarks, except was constantly told I was a social butterfly or she talks a little too much during class. But my kindergarten teacher once told my mom that sometimes the most difficult child attitudes and tendencies make exceptional adult qualities. So I think that's important to remember and I thank you mom and dad for always remembering that while we were growing up. People have asked me also about my adoption story and if I always knew I was adopted. I mean, my family is very Caucasian, so yes, yes, I, I, I always knew I was adopted. And I think transparency is key because children are pretty observant. It would have been very difficult for my parents to explain why they're both Caucasian and I'm Korean without them telling me I was adopted. I was also told about when they picked me up from the airport instead of a birth story. So that's, that's quite another huge clue that I'm not their biological child. <laughs> a lot of my friends who are going through the adoption process have asked me what it was like for me growing up as an adopted child. I mean, it's, it's difficult to pinpoint something like five telltale signs you're adopted or these easy tips for being adopted. You can't blanket something so intricate <laughs> and I can obviously only speak from my experiences because every single story out there is completely different. But if you're interested in my story, definitely let me know and I will talk about it in a future video. A lot of really quick follow-up answers to questions I normally get just to save us some time is my ethnicity is Korean and I am American. In the States, my family is made up of my parents, my sister and her family, obviously Abner, who is my husband, 
aunts, uncles, cousins, kids of cousins, second cousins, second cousins once removed, yada, yada, yada. The list goes on and on. And my extended family is huge. It's, they're fantastic. I love, I love everyone in my family. <laughs> I have met my birth family who are all in Korea. I have several siblings over there and they have some kids as well. <laughs> Something that is important to remember on a serious note, let, let, let's get serious for a second. Something important to remember whether you're adopted or not is we all have struggles. Everyone, everyone has struggles of some magnitude, no matter how great the situation can be or is. Just know that you are loved and continue to trust the people who are continuously showing you every day that they love you. Focus on the love you have around you as opposed to what you're told you should have. Anyway, love to you all on this drizzly November day. It is officially fall and I am loving it. Abner is not really loving it. <laughs> And so now I want to go out and do all these things and he would rather stay inside. <laughs> we are pretty opposite in that. But I hope you have a lovely fall. I hope that you all are doing great. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.